thank you very much for coming here. It's a real pleasure. Yeah, thank Come you for having here. me. And uh, can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Hi, uh, I'm Katie Bauer. I'm a senior data scientist at Reddit. So uh, whenever I log into Reddit more often than I should, I have to say that, uh, I'm always reminded of that, that quote from uh, Forrest Gump. They said that life is like a box of chocolate. And Reddit is the same thing. You never know what kind of subreddit you're going to find. Yeah. So the amount of data and the, the variety is amazing. How, how much data does the yeah, I mean, Reddit store? Or I could not tell you what the total amount is mm -hmm. because it's, it's a 13-year-old site. It's mm -hmm. a lot. Um, but every day we get about 10 billion new events, um, about 5 terabytes of data added every single day. Uh, 5 so, terabytes? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, and it's just, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's not just the, the size, it's the, the variety, and yeah. even myself as a human and a seasoned uh, Redditor, it's sometimes very hard to understand what the hell they're talking about. So, <laughs> That poses uh, some extra challenges for a data scientist. Mm -hmm. How do you make sense out of this enormous mess? Yeah, um, well, with uh, in part a lot of context. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of questions you could ask about Reddit, mm -hmm. um, and each of them you might approach slightly differently. Uh, so for example, if I want to figure out what is the most popular uh, subreddit on a particular day, mm -hmm. I would approach that very differently. Uh, than if I wanted to find someone who um, was telling a lot of jokes or something. Like, mm -hmm. you have to break down your problem and figure out what specifically you want to do, and then figure out, first of all, what data is going to be relevant to that, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, what technique you want to use to get at answering that problem. Okay, and as a data scientist, uh, what's your goal in, in Reddit? What's, what's the objective? What kind of information are you people trying to extract? Yeah, um, there's a lot of different things that we do uh, as a team at Reddit. Uh, mm -hmm. We have people who are focused on um, more machine learning specific tasks, uh, such as recommending content mm -hmm. um, that you might be interested in. Uh, we have people who are very closely tied uh, with uh, product managers um, mm -hmm. and the business side of the company uh, who are doing a lot more business intelligence uh, style work. Um, and then we also have a core data science team that is doing sort of foundational work to help us answer mm -hmm. questions we might want to be answering maybe a couple months down the road. Um, and that's the part of data science that I work on. Mm -hmm. um, so like what I'm doing right now is uh, trying to find good representations for our content. Um, is it going to be uh, a word vector uh, for a post? Or is it going to be uh, a semantic tag on an image? Mm -hmm. um, researching uh, both ways we can represent our content and then ways we can use it to make the site better. Okay. And what kind of tools do you use at Reddit as a data scientist? What are the main tools that you use? Yeah, um, our data pipeline um, has a lot of different stages. Uh, we stream data with Kafka, mm -hmm. we store it in S3, and we operate a lot out of the Google Cloud platform. So our data warehouse lives in Google BigQuery. Mm -hmm. um, and as a data scientist, I also use a lot of Python. Um, we're starting to experiment with TensorFlow and mm -hmm. Spark. Um, lots of big data tools. Jupiter. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jupiter I work Lab. at a yeah. Jupiter Lab a lot. I love okay. Jupiter Lab yeah. actually. It's a really nice IDE, um, and of course, lots of Bash scripting. Um, I've even used R sometimes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I think that the main uh, objective of R in data science is convince people how great Python is. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, that's definitely true. I think R is good if you're doing uh -huh. like statistical stuff purely, yeah. but if you're doing machine learning, Python has a lot Are more Are you going to JupyterCon in New York? Uh, probably not, so, um, but okay. maybe. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I'm, I'm going there. Um, oh, okay. Okay. When, when is it? When? Yeah. It's uh, the end of October last week. Hmm. I think it's 20, hmm. 20 something. Maybe I will. Okay. Let me know. Yeah. Um, and what are the main challenges in, in Reddit for, as a data scientist? It's, is it the size, the speed at which it grows, the variety? Yeah, all of those things are huge <laughs> challenges. <laughs> okay. um, a lot of uh, our data pipelines will just fall over sometimes, mm -hmm. um, dealing with the scale of data that we have and figuring out how to process it smartly um, is a big part of it. Um, but another big challenge we have is just 
how much work there is to do. Um, our data science team has existed for a little over a year, mm -hmm. um, so we still have not answered a lot of really basic questions. Uh, mm -hmm. And figuring that stuff out will enable us to do more sophisticated and interesting things down the road. Um, but we've got a bit of work before we can get to that place yet. Okay. And the, the whole site is changing a lot recently. It has been mm -hmm. redesigned for the first time in 10 years, yeah. maybe, something like that. Yep. Uh, many hate subreddits have been closed, and it looks like the, um, the ad system is changing also. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it's a, it's a crazy teenager is finally settling down. <laughs> How does that affect uh, from a business point of view or, or the, the data yeah. scientist? Yeah, um, you might say that Reddit is going through its adolescence. It's now mm -hmm. old enough that it can legally use Reddit. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, all the things that you've talked about kind of um, tie back to our overall mission, which is that we want to make a place where people feel like they belong on mm -hmm. the internet. Um, so a lot of the work we're doing is just to make the site more welcoming to mm -hmm. new people who haven't experienced it before. Um, it's to help them find the subreddits that they might care about but never think to search for. Uh, we're really trying to make the site easier to understand and more mm -hmm. welcoming for newcomers so that everyone can find uh -huh. a place to belong. Excellent. And uh, we also have a, a boot camp that specializes on data science, machine learning. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a bunch of students that are starting in a path that you have already walked. So what would you recommend uh, beginning or wannabe data scientists? Yeah, um, I would say one of the most important things to know as a data scientist is um, being a data scientist is not like doing a Kaggle competition. Mm -hmm. um, in the real world, data is usually pretty messy, um, and you're going to have to make a lot of trade-offs uh, uh -huh. working as a data scientist. Uh, you might want to build a really cool state-of-the-art uh, deep learning system, mm -hmm. um, but you don't have time to actually do yeah. that because you need to ship a product soon. Mm -hmm. So you have to make a trade-off and build uh, a simpler logistic regression or something. Uh, and the difference between a good data scientist and a great data scientist is someone who realizes when it is appropriate to make that trade-off um, so that you can help people with your job. Sounds a lot like the difference between a good and a bad software engineer, <laughs> knowing when <laughs> yeah. to make a trade-off. Uh, you also mentioned that you guys get like five terabytes of mm -hmm. data every day. Uh, I'm going to make a wild guess here and uh, assume that maybe 50% of that are memes. Do you really think it's worth saving all that stuff? Do you yeah. think that future generations will judge us harshly? Well, uh, I would say that over time, um, people have always had jokes that are not funny mm -hmm. <laughs> to people who are older than them or younger than them. Um, so it's just kind of preserving jokes mm -hmm. uh, for posterity. And who knows, maybe one day um, when a historian is like trying to study uh, the past, they'll go and they'll dig through Reddit to find uh, what people were talking about and the jokes they were making at the time. Uh, think of it as history. Yeah, that will be an, an interesting part of uh, archaeology in the future. <laughs> Yeah. Kitty, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I know it's a very long uh, flight for you. Yeah. But I really appreciate it, and I hope you will we'll see you soon here. Yeah. And I hope I'll see some uh, Bocadillo de Calamares meme on Reddit <laughs> pretty soon. I'll start that trend. Okay. <laughs> thank you thank so you much for having much. me. Thank you so much. Yeah.